Well, good morning. Happy Ash Wednesday. Happy Lent. What a joy to start the morning with each of you. Thank you for being here. I'm Deanne Miller. I am so grateful to get to pray together with you this morning. We will pray a single decade each day, Monday through Friday through Lent. And uh, we'll start with the first sorrowful mystery this morning. I know it's Wednesday and it would be the third typically, but because we are kicking off Lent, we will start with the first sorrowful mystery. And again, because it's the first mystery, we will start with the opening prayers, um, the Apostles' Creed and those that follow. For those new to Soul Corps, welcome. So grateful to have you here. You get to remain silent throughout all of the prayers. It's really meant to be a gift, that gift of silence and really um, letting the prayers penetrate more deeply within. And I will um, I will say each prayer, the first half of each prayer of the um, Our Fathers, the Hail Marys and the Glory Bees out loud. And I'm silent with you the second half. So um, that can be slightly different than what you're used to, but pray that you really just savor that silence. And um, the movements, I'm going to invite you into a series of movements, some nice stretches and, and some strengthening movements. They are simply an invitation. The prayers are always our, our main focus, first and foremost, and the movements are just an invitation for you to engage your body in prayer and really give God more, more power to your supplication and, and, and pray in the fullness of your whole person. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome everybody this morning. I invite you to place your hands in prayer in front of your heart. If it's comfortable, closing your eyes. Let's take a nice deep inhale, breathing in through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Let's do that again. Feel the breath low into the belly of the ribs, expanding east to west and you inhale. And we'll exhale. And we'll begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Take a moment now, just from the silence of your heart, you're welcome to also place your intentions into the chat. Any special dedication, any special intention you wanna offer this first sorrowful mystery to, this decade to, on this day. Dear God, we lift up our hearts to you. We lift up all the prayers, really in a sense of our heart to unite our hearts more fully with your sacred heart. We thank you, God, for all the ways that you hear and answer each of our prayers. We ask you to guide us, to take us by the hand, to lead us deeper into union with you through these sorrowful mysteries as we journey through Lent never alone, always with you and always together. We ask the Holy Spirit to be abundantly present in this very moment and throughout our days, God, in our words, our actions, our thoughts. Help us to be led by the Holy Spirit to always do your will. We ask this Jesus in your name and always through the intercession of our most beautiful, most obedient, most generous, blessed mother. Amen. As I mentioned, we'll start with the opening prayer since this is the first mystery. So I invite you into a surrender position or any comfortable resting position. I'm gonna separate my knees, sit back towards my heels, extend my arms forward. Palms are coming upward. That is a posture of openness, of receptivity and offering to God. We'll just rest here in, the, in this nice stretch. I pray the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. 
right? You enter a push-up position, either on your hands and knees, you can extend the legs. Another wonderful push-up is coming upright, drawing the arms forward and back using just your own body resistance. As we pray, and I'll pray the first half of each of these prayers out loud, silent with you, the second half. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. For the next three Hail Marys, I invite you to stay in this. Um, push up or plank position. Again, the knees can extend. You can stay down on your knees, drawing strong from the core, feeling Christ at our center, strengthening us from within and we'll hold here and breathe for three Hail Marys. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Breathing, lengthening, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Strong in your center, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I invite you back to that surrender position. You're welcome to come here anytime. Palms rotating upward, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. From hands and knees or legs extended, we're gonna slowly lower into prostrate, our hearts drawing ever more closer to Jesus as we come into a resting position. And you can rest there, preparing your heart to receive the first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. And a fruit of this mystery, what Jesus teaches us through his example, is a resignation to the will of God. In Psalm 143.10, we read, teach me to do your will. You are my God. May your gracious spirit lead me forward on firm footing. I'm going to share a reflection that I go back to so often. It was from a, a Lenten series um, a few years ago from the Good Catholic. And it says, a brave and ready heart is attentive to God's action in the present moment, always expecting good things from him and ready to accept with courage every circumstance of life that may come to it. We don't know what new adventures the next moment will bring and what they might require of us. However, a stalwart heart is prepared for anything. Pray to be ever ready for God's will, advised Sister Mary MacLeod, even when it takes you by surprise. Armed with patience and confidence, a brave and ready heart fully enjoys the many blessings and gifts of life while remaining steadfast in times of hardship. It willingly embraces whatever joy and pain God brings to it. A brave and ready heart is therefore free and unconquerable because its bulwark is the divine will. As we move through this decade, I invite you to pray for the grace to your heart to be open always to resigning to God's will. And even in the words of Jesus, let this cup pass, but not my will, God, your will be done. I invite you into that push up position, going at your own pace, modifying as desired, breathing throughout. We'll begin the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven.
staying on your hands and knees if that's comfortable. I'm just gonna invite you to sit back towards your heels and come back to starting position. So a little bit of a rocking motion. We're rocking in the will of God. If you wanna add an, an added strength, strengthening, you can come down into that push up and push back. The rocking back and forth is great. Two Hail Marys here, breathing, moving. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Again, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Staying here, hands and knees. We're gonna thread one arm underneath the body, press the back of the hand, get a nice stretch here. And then in your own timing, open, open our hearts to God's will. And you'll just go back and forth in that movement gently with joy and openness. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We'll go to the other side, threading that arm through, reaching for that closeness, that oneness with Christ, opening our hearts to his will. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I'm gonna invite you to lift your hips, place the heels down, hook one foot behind the other heel, holding here, pressing into the palms to get a nice stretch. You can add a little rocking or you can hold static, wherever it feels best to you today, breathing, Anchored from the core. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We'll switch to the other side. Feel that nice stretch, the strengthening. God holding you in his will. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We'll come back onto our knees, stepping one foot forward, the back toes pointed. Arms come forward, our palms open. Again, that posture of offering, of serving, of openness to God's will. And leaning in, and then coming back to that starting position. Keep the ribs knitted together, body nice and long, reaching out of the crown of the head, offering ourselves in his will. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Let's do that this time as you lean forward. When you come back, open the arms wide and then bring them back to center. Again, moving at your own pace, but we're opening our hearts wide to do his will. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We'll switch to the other side. Remembering no matter what comes our way, at every direction we, we lean into God, we lean into his will, keeping the arms forward here for this first Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus.
staying here, but adding with the arms wide open, our hearts wide open. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We'll place our hands down, bring your front foot back to meet the back foot, the knees separate. Sitting back towards your heels, arms extend forward, palms upward. Our hearts united with Jesus' sacred heart as we pray, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. And then we'll come forward, hands just below our shoulders, elbows close to the sides of the body as we slowly prostrate ourselves, praying silently, oh my Jesus. Pausing here, resting, staying in this laying down position, or you're welcome to come to seated for a closing prayer. My precious and crucified Lord, I offer you this Lent. I offer it to you with total abandonment and trust. I offer you my prayers, sacrifices, my very life this day. Do with me, Lord, as you will. I pray that this Lent will be fruitful. I know you have much to say to me and much to do in my life. May this Lent be a time through which your mercy is poured in abundance into my soul and into the souls of all your faithful. Dearest Lord, help me to especially see my sin this Lent. Humble me so that I may see clearly. Give me courage and strength to confess my sins and to turn from them with all my heart. Enlighten me with your holy word, dear Lord. Help me to come to know you and to deepen the gift of faith in my life. Show me the plan you have for me and place my feet upon the path you have chosen. That was a beautiful prayer written by one of our soul core leaders, Stacey Levens. And it is our prayer for each of you and for each of us this Lent. Dear God, thank you. Thank you for this time of unity of time of prayer. Help us by your grace to do your holy and divine will. We ask this Jesus in your name and always through the intercession of our beautiful blessed mother. Amen. In the name of the father and of the son and of the Holy spirit. Amen. Well, God bless you all keeping you in prayer. Thank you for joining this morning. We'll have a variety of leaders offering a single decade each morning. We hope to see you again tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Eastern time. Have a beautiful day. Happy Ash Wednesday. God bless you. Thank you, Dan. Oh, thank you all so much. Such a joy to begin the day thank with you. you. Thanks a lot. God thank bless you. you. Bye. Thank you. Happy Lent. Thank you. Happy Lent. Thank you, Deanne. Thank you. God bless you. So good to see all of you. My goodness. It is a good Lent. <laughs> God bless.